Air is a 2023 American biographical sports drama film directed by Ben Affleck and written by Alex Convery. The film is based on true events about the origin of Air Jordan, a basketball showline, of which a Nike employee seeks to strike a business deal with rookie player Michael Jordan. It stars Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Jason Bateman, Marlon Wayans, Chris Messina, Chris Tucker, and Viola Davis. The project was announced in April 2022 with Affleck set to direct, as well as star and produce alongside Damon with their newly formed production company Artists' Equity. Principal photography took place between June and July 2022 with Affleck reuniting with his frequent collaborators, cinematographer Robert Richardson and editor William Goldenberg. While Michael Jordan was not involved with the production, he did meet with Affleck, offering several suggestions, including the casting of Davis as his mother. Originally set to premiere on the streaming service Amazon Prime Video, distributor Amazon Studios opted to release the film theatrically first after positive test screenings, making it the first Amazon title since late night, 2019, to be released in theaters without also premiering on Prime Video. Air had its premiere at South by Southwest on March 18, 2023, and was theatrically released in the United States on April 5. The film received positive reviews from critics, particularly for Affleck's direction, Convery's screenplay and the performances of the cast, and has grossed $87 million worldwide. Matt Damon as Sonny Vaccaro Ben Affleck as Phil Knight Jason Bateman as Rob Strasser Marlon Wayans as George Raveling. Chris Messina as David Falk. Chris Tucker as Howard White. Viola Davis as Dolores Jordan. Matthew Marr as Peter Moore. Julius Tennant as James R. Jordan, Sr. Tom Papa as Stu Inman. Joel Gretsch as John O'Neill. Gustav Skarsgård as Horst Dassler. Barbara Sukowa as Kathy Dassler. Jessica Green as Katrina Sines. Dan Bukatinsky as Richard. Damian Delano Young as Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, Archival. Jay Moore as John Fisher. Al Madrigal as Tim. Michael O'Neill as Joe Dean. In 1984, Oregon-based Nike Inc. is on the verge of shutting their basketball shoe division due to low sales. In response to this, marketing VP Rob Strasser, along with co-founder and CEO Phil Knight, tasked Nike's basketball talent scout Sonny Vaccaro to come up with a new spokesperson for Nike basketball shoes, while considering the basketball players chosen in the 1984 NBA draft, Nike's executives think third pick Michael Jordan is off-limits. Being both a fan of Adidas and too expensive for the basketball division's meager budget. But once he watches Jordan's highlights in conjunction with an Arthur Ashe commercial for his head rackets, Vaccaro becomes convinced that Nike should pursue who he considers a generational talent, with both brand and athlete building off each other. Following dinner with his friend George Raveling, who coached Jordan in the Olympic tournament, and asking for his support in courting the star, Vaccaro travels to Wilmington, North Carolina, where he convinces Michael's mother Dolores that Nike would give Jordan all the attention that he would not get from his preferred brands Adidas and Converse. After receiving a negative phone call from Jordan's agent David Falk regarding contacting his client's family, Vaccaro learns that the Jordans have scheduled a meeting at Nike's Beaverton, Oregon headquarters, the following Monday. Vaccaro and Strasser start preparing their pitch while requesting shoe designer Peter Moore to prepare a prototype which more names Air Jordan after Nike's Air Sole technology. In the meantime, Knight accepts to assign the basketball division's entire $250,000 budget to hire Jordan. After the meeting with Jordan and his parents is successful, Vaccaro learns that Adidas matched the offer while adding a Mercedes-Benz 380 SL, and he thinks the deal will not go through. However, Vaccaro receives a call from Dolores, who states that Michael will sign with Nike on the condition he earns a percentage of every Air Jordan sold. Even though Vaccaro thinks the company's higher-ups would not accept this bonus, Knight is told he deems it necessary to ensure the endorsement. An epilogue reveals the Air Jordan exceeded Knight's expectations of $3 million in sales, earning $126, 6, 7, 8, million in one year and becoming a steady source of income for Jordan. 
As of May 15, 2023, AIR had grossed $51.8 million in the United States and Canada, and $36.1 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $87.9 million. In the United States and Canada, AIR was released alongside the Super Mario Bros. movie, and was projected to grow $16 to $18 million from 3,507 theaters in its five-day opening weekend, 26, 2, 3, it made $3.2 million on its first day and $2.4 million on its second. The film went on to debut to $14.4 million, and a total of $20.2 million over the five days, finishing third at the box office, 49% of the audience was older than 35, 13, the film made $7.6 million and $5.5 million in its second and third weekend, respectively, finishing fifth both times. Outside of the US and Canada, AIR grossed $10.5 million from 59 markets in its opening weekend, 33, in its second weekend, the film earned $6.2 million from 66 markets for a drop of 34%. On the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, 92% of 303 critics' reviews are positive, with an average rating of July 7, 10. The website's consensus reads, a fact-based drama that no one will dunk on, AIR aims to dramatize events that change the sports world forever and hits almost nothing but net. 35, Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned the film a score of 73 out of 100, based on 59 critics, indicating generally favorable reviews. 36, audiences surveyed by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of A on an A plus to F scale, while those polled by PostTrack gave it a 93% positive score, with 83% saying they would definitely recommend it. Chicago Sun-Times's Richard Roper gave the film four out of four stars, writing, thanks to Affleck's sure-handed, period piece perfect direction, a crackling good screenplay by Alex Combrey and the lively, funny, warm, passionate performances from the A-list cast, air is as entertaining and fast-paced as an NBA Finals game that is destined for overtime. Peter de Bruges, writing for Variety, gave the film a positive review and praised the performances, saying, Air ought to be taken as the ultimate example of the American dream, a funny, touching Cinderella story about how the third-place sneaker brand wished upon a star, and how that man, and his mother, were smart enough to know their value. The Hollywood Reporter's Lovia Jarkey also gave the film a positive review and deemed that, for most audiences, Air will be worth seeing just for the starry cast, particularly the reunion between Damon and Affleck. Their scenes possess a kinetic and intimate dynamism that the rest of the film approaches, but doesn't always match. Less flatteringly, NPR Saisha Harris summarily dismissed the film's flimsy premise as a craven exercise in capitalist exaltation, though she praised Davis and Messina's performances. Harris resented the overall inadequate character development and concluded with the impression that there was something ultimately hollow about trying to extract FUBU mentality from what amounts to a two-hour ad for Nike and the uber-rich. Similarly, Peter Bradshaw of The Guardian admonished the film for looking like the most expensive in-house corporate promo in history, shallow, parochial and obtuse and also bemoaned the underutilization of Davis, who he described as having more charisma and force than the rest of the cast put together.